and away we go. Hey everyone, it's me, Adam P, and welcome to the 62nd Valentine's Day edition of Can We Talk? So, before we get into these hot topics, I'm gonna let you know right now that the subscribe button is right there. It is free and it only takes two seconds to click it. So make sure you hit that up, get that tea for me, Adam P. So let's dive on in, but remember, it is not that deep. Uh, this is my 22nd Valentine's Day single. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay, because you know what? Valentine's is also about loving yourself, girl, okay? The tippity top story I want to talk about is Spyro is getting a remastered edition. Whoo, yes, God. So, as we know, Crash Bandicoot got that treatment from PS4, and now it is Spyro's turn. It's, like, technically not, like, announced, announced yet, but it's supposed to be announced in March of 2018, and it's gonna have the first three games, darling, Spyro the Dragon, Ripto's Rage, and the Year of the Dragon. And it's gonna be, like, renewed, like, it's gonna be pretty, like, redesigned, and it's gonna have new scores, but it's gonna be the same damn game. So, it's supposed to, rumor, come out officially the summer of 20, uh, this summer, because it's gonna be, like, uh, the 20th anniversary. So, very exciting, because I owned a PS1 and a PS2, okay? That was my childhood right there. I can remember, like, it's one of my, some of my first memories ever, is playing Spyro. Because it was just, like, it was just so fun! And, like, ah! And I haven't played it in so long that it's like, oh my god, where are these games like again? It was, like, a really fun game, I remember. It wasn't difficult, so I loved it. Well, at least the stuff I did wasn't difficult, so... The only catch is I don't have money for a PS4. <laughs> That's the only problem. Um, I got the Nintendo Switch. Love it. However, their biggest fault is uh, they don't share the love with other uh, gaming and entertainment systems very much with their games. So, I mean, PS4... I could see it in my future, definitely, if I really want to, you know, be a gamer, okay? It'd be fun. I've been wanting, I kind of want to do, like, gaming stuff. Seems fun. A ton of people do it. It seems like a ton of people watch them. So, I, it, it would be a good time. However, I know, like, a big thing about the gaming community is, like, really like, terrible, hateful comments. But, you know what? I'm on YouTube already. I've, I've been through it, the words. It's fine. I can, I can take it. If my man don't know Spyro, <laughs> he's probably a minor. Okay, and then finally, the last story we have is Ryan Murphy hits a deal with Netflix that is at its five-year contract, and it is at a whopping $300 million. The biggest deal from any TV producer ever. So, I mean, I don't know if that means $300 million right to his pocket, $300 million of a budget. It's a lot of coin, though. I'm a little confused, though. I don't know. Okay, like... <laughs> okay, like, my problem with Ryan Murphy is he it, his talent is starting something. He can start ev anything amazing. She, he, he really can do that. But you give him more than two seasons, and it... <laughs> It is going right to the shitter, so <laughs> it's a risky choice, I would say, Netflix. I don't know, because my examples, based on my experience of Ryan Murphy, I think the very first thing I saw of him was Glee. Perfect example. Two seasons, great. The rest, garbage. Like, garbage. And then we have um, Screen Queens. That was, like, cool for the first few episodes, and then it went to shit. Then American Horror Story, that went cool, and he released some seasons like Freak Show, and that went to shit. So, I, he has a record of starting great things and ending it terribly, and no one talking about it. So, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it's a good choice. But, however, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it and see if it appears. Well, Ryan Murphy's one of those people where 
I'm not gonna like watch every single thing he does because it's Ryan Murphy. I'm just gonna see like, okay, wait for the gay shit, which is probably gonna be everything. So, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, good for him though. I shouldn't be knocking down a gay man succeeding in the world. Good for him, it's just, you know. Do something good from start to finish. That's my only critique. <laughs> All right, T, well, that wraps another segment of Can We Talk. Let me know what you think of the hot topics down below. Um, yeah, if there's any, like, stories, definitely let me know. Make sure you hit me up on my social media. And I will see you guys tomorrow for more hot topics. All right, see you guys. Mwah.